Hello everyone, welcome to the TSS. In this class, we are going to discuss type conversion of NumPy array. So, how to convert from one data type to another data type of a NumPy array. The syntax is just in the last classes, we have already discussed the syntax that numpy dot array method of the arguments it will accept sequence and it will accept another argument as d type d type means data type by using this argument we will declare the type of the sequence which is to be converted as numpy array let us see one example friends here we took python lists nested list as we had uh, took the same example in the previous classes also and then we have imported numpy as a np and then all the process are same just the change was happened here np dot array of we had paused that list as a sequence and we are imposing one restriction here d type is equal to we declare the data type which we require that means the float or int or string or bool or object these are the different data types so if you wanna array to be float data type then you will give d type is equal to float and if you wanna your array to be integer data type then you will give int same str and in the case of bool and in the case of object okay let's see one example say If you give d type as a float, then the given sequence will be look like this one dot say dot will come because it is a float dot and uh, if you if you give the pure integer data type then if you as a sequence and then if you uh, pass float as a, a d type argument then the output resulting array will be look like this points will come okay because it's a float data type it was converted to a float data type array so d type of float 64 and then if you wanna if you wanna give it as a float to integer then it will come defaultly if you give any uh, listed sequence defaultly it will it is it assumes as an integer type and in unless your data is having point values okay and then if you give your data type as str then the resultant array will look like this commas will come inverted commas will come to tell it is not a number it is a string okay so this is about d type argument inside an array method d type argument explanation okay if you already having an array and if you wanna convert it okay you are not this is a part this is a declaration at the time of conversion a r r a y array we are calling a method array from np okay this is at the time of initializing declaring itself but after declaring after array formation if you if you need arises like situations like if you wanna convert a data type to another data type then this method will 
help a r r dot as type a s t y p e this method will help to convert an array data type from one type to another okay so this is the brackets opening and here you can give whatever data type target data type you need okay so this is the theoretical part and now we will see it in a jupyter notebook let's switch over to jupyter notebooks and here okay let's take it as the same example and delete unwanted cells up to here okay we need to add some cells below okay you click plus new cells was added then type d type okay array dot d type if you wanna know the array data type then you call this method d type and run it see it is integer 32 and at the time of formation itself if you give additional d type argument and if you want it as a float f l o a t float then rerun this cell okay and also we have to rerun this cell also now you see the difference earlier some one two three like that now after passing d type as a float the result was changed as point values appeared okay now if you run this cell it will change it to float okay this is the concept of the time of initializing an array and if you give the str type and rerun it and uh, this cell also you execute it you see the change all the elements inverted commas came up to denote that the item is no more a number it is a string so d type it was appeared as less than u1 means it is a string let's run this cell also data type has appeared here and interestingly bool is also is there bool means true or false whether a number exists or not if a number is zero then at that particular point false will appear instead of zero if a number exists other than zero then it appears as true let us see it okay i had run this one and i had run this cell you see this is the bool array of uh, the passed list because this one one means true number exists two number exists three number exists and uh, it uh, substitutes a particular position as false when that position is having zero okay for testing purpose i will make it as zero make it as zero and if i rerun everything here you see now since the positions are zero here it appeared as false false rest of the numbers it is displaying it as true okay this is of boolean data type and if i place it as an object object and run and it also run here the d type you see object will come here also if you run it o will come o means it indicates that the array is of object data type that means not only numbers not only strings it's an mixed it's an object okay 
Okay, then initialization part data type was over, and now type conversion concept we will see. Type conversion concept means integer 32. So, here we are having simple array numpy array of integer data type. So, of uh, initializing is over, declaration everything is over, a eh? array was already created, we have an integer data type array and uh, if a need arises to convert these elements into another data type, how we have to do that one? So, as we already discussed by using r dot as type as type float f l o a t float if you run it you see now here one zero zero here point values has come up it represents that array was converted to float data type the same analogy r dot s type of uh, say str c it was converted to string type and if you give as type of bool simple shift enter it was run and since it, there was zeros here actually here so it was substitute false rest of all the positions it was substituted true true means a value exists false means zero exists at that particular place and uh, if you wanna convert it as an object simple object and then run it yes it was an object so this is a procedure of initializing an array as a data specifically explicitly if you design if you didn't explicitly mention it was taken implicitly as the passed sequence data type and after declaration after uh, uh, array formation if you need to convert an array elements of one data type to another data type then you make use of as type method okay so this is all about array type conversion friends in the next class we will see some more topics till then bye bye yours veera signing off thank you for listening